Okay, so welcome back to this course. So in my previous video, I have successfully created my products reducer, and now let's create the products action and get all the products from our backend. All right. So in my src folder, I'm going to create a new folder here that is called the actions. Okay. And on the action folder, I'm going to create one file for the products action. So product actions. Okay. So we first of all have to import the axios because we have to send the request to the backend. So axios from the axios, and then we also have to bring in our constants. So I simply copy these from here. So copy and put them here. And now let's create our function. So export const that is get products. So we want to get all the products from the backend. So I will simply pass in here an arrow function that is going to be a sync, all right? And if a sync, I have to type here dispatch. So whatever I want to dispatch from here, all right? And then in here, first of all, let's type here the try catch block. So try catch, okay? And if there is some error, we are going to dispatch we are going to dispatch here that type will be all products fail right and then the payload is going to be the error dot response dot data dot message all right so remember we have created here in the reducer the case for the all products fail so if there is some error in this code so we will dispatch the all products fail and send the payload to the error so this payload will be go in the error and we will display that error uh, on our screen i hope that you understand and now first of all let's try i'm going to dispatch here so dispatch type is all products request okay so i will first of all send the all products request that will uh, set the loading to true and products to an empty array all right and after that i have to send the request to the backend to get the data so what i do is i simply type here const data from axios sorry await axios dot get so in the get we have two okay so I'm going to pull the data and from this request that is axios.get and have to pass in here the URL on which we want to send the request. So that is slash API slash v1 slash the products. Okay. And we also have to go to our package.json file. So set to so set the proxy, I go to the end. And here I simply type here the proxy. And the proxy is http. Uh, one two seven zero dot zero dot one and the port is four thousand our backend port all right so localhost port four thousand is our backend uh, proxy so simply save it and also we have to run our backend so I simply go to the uh, new tab and I simply type in here uh, or what I do is I simply go to the first terminal I split it into two terminals so simply click on the split then start our backend here so simply type here npm run prod okay so I am running my application and backend in the production mode all right so now it is running successfully on the backend so now on the uh, the slash api slash v1 slash products and we're going to send the request the get request to this and we will pull out the data from that all right and after pulling the data i will dispatch the type will be definitely all products uh, all products success all right and then the then the payload is going to be the data that pull it from here this one okay so as we save it and let's also handle this clear errors in our separate function so simply type here 
clear errors so export cons that is clear errors that is going to be async dispatch so we simply have to basically dispatch that type is going to be the clear errors all right so whenever we call this function it is going to clear all the errors simple as that all right so we now we are done with our first actions here i will simply explain it once again first of all this is the function that is get products first of all we will dispatch all products request so when we dispatch it it is going to set the loading to true and products to an empty array in the state and after that we will send the get request to this url that is api v1 products and it is going to get all the data from the backend and put them in data variable and after that we are going to dispatch the all product success and in the payload we will pass the data all right so we will pull the products and products count and save that in the state that the products and products count and also we set the loadings to false in the all product success but if there is some error we will dispatch all products fail all right and then we will uh, in the payload we will store the error message all right and now in my next video i want to pull all the products from the state all right so now if i go back to my chrome and go to the inspect and here i go to the redux and if you go to the state tab you will see here products so right now it is an empty products array but when we will call this function get products it is going to send the request to the backend and get all the products and fill this array with the products all right so now our products is present in the state in my next video i want to pull all the products from the state and i will simply have to loop through them okay so i will see you in the next video